Today was scary, Grandma. I was outside looking for some food when this guy started yelling at me. I ignored him the way Mom always told me to, but he wouldn't stop. Then he started chasing me, and he had a crowbar. And I ran. I dropped everything I was carrying, and I ran, and he kept chasing me, and nobody came to help me. I went and I ducked down an alley and climbed over a fence, and he couldn't follow me. And then I ran some more so he wouldn't be able to find me if he came around the other side. Later, I went back for the stuff I'd been carrying, and it was all gone. I'm so hungry. I'm pretty sure is the lassie on the street in Morningside Heights. That must mean he lives somewhere close. I'm surprised he even comes out of his lair at all. He must think he's special somehow. Or that he has protection. Yes, I'll bet that's it. If that is the lassie, it could be a government plant to distract me. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We deserve the truth about Rick Velassi and whoever he's fronting for. I will follow him, I will keep an eye on him, I will find him, and then I will find out the secrets he's hiding. I promise you, we will know the truth. to dig into Velassi's past, and I am getting nowhere. There's no record of where he lives, and no employment history. It's like the government just made him up out of whole cloth when they needed a voice to go out on the airwaves. For all we know, he's not even in Manhattan. He could be in a condo up in Boston eating cheese munchies in between broadcasts, and they just pipe him in down here. It's getting too big. I am losing sight of the edges of the web. Where am I? Doesn't matter. What's next? More of the same. I'm going to keep broadcasting as long as I can. Sharing intel that gives everyone out there just a little better chance of making it to tomorrow. I'm not looking for trouble. But if trouble finds me, I'll be ready.
If you ever get off this rock, don't come looking for me. When I need to, I'll find you. The dark zone is full of abandoned equipment if you know where to look. I know where to look. I took all the abandoned shade combo gear I could get my hands on and set up shop in my hidey hole. No, I'm not going to tell you where it is. Besides, if you're hearing this, you've likely found it anyway. So I took that gear and set up my own network, tapping into shade frequencies and targeting users ID'd as rogues. Why? because I didn't like being hunted. And I thought a little intel could go a long way for someone on their own out there. Okay, there is no explanation for this. None whatsoever. I heard one of those awful cleaners coming down the street and hid in here so he wouldn't see me and decide to set me on fire. Two of those men in the LMB uniforms went out to meet him. They had guns. Guns! And you think they'd tell him to stop, wouldn't you? I mean, the way he's going, he could burn the entire borough down. But what do they do? They start joking with him. One even lights a cigarette, filthy habit, on the flamethrower, and then the three of them march off together like they're the best of friends. I don't understand it. I just don't. But I'm going to follow them and try to find out what's going on. But man, I just don't get it. We beat those other guys. One group's crazier than a shithouse rat, and the others a mob with no discipline. What the hell do they have to offer us? You ask me, it's gonna be more work keeping them in line than we'll get out of them. If you ask me, it's not worth it. But nobody's asking me, which is typical. The cleaners. Oh my, the cleaners. Crazy. Each and every one of them. We're gonna burn down the whole city to save it. Dressing up like monster men with bright shiny bombs strapped to their backs. Yeah, that's a great move, isn't it? We used to pick them off just by shooting the napalm tanks they were wearing and waiting for the explosion. And so obsessive. <laughs> Try talking to one, and all you get is burn out the infection. Yeah. Nice talking to you too, man. Don't get burned playing with matches. To get the signal back up, we'll have to reestablish a connection to... Oh! 
What the hell? Everybody down now! Stop! Please! This is gonna be my last broadcast. They're listening. I mean, I always knew they were listening, but now I know they're listening. And I don't know how much time I have left. I'm giving up on the Velassi story. It's too dangerous. It's too big. Bigger than you think. What he's tied up in, Manhattan is only the tip of the iceberg. If I keep looking into it, they're gonna kill me. Maybe they're already gonna kill me. I don't know. Maybe this is too late. But I am telling you, whatever you do, stay away from Rick Velassi. Stay away from... The quarantine as it's set up is good. Good at keeping idiots on the island. Oh sure, the Coast Guard's watching the water and the JTF's guarding the bridges and the tunnels. But the thing is this. The weakest component in any system is people. All it takes is one guy who'll take a bribe, one optimist who thinks he's smarter than everyone else, one desperate mother or father who'll do anything for their kid, and the whole system breaks down. And that one little slip, that one tiny crack, that's all I needed. So imagine us, the LMB, last bastion of combat discipline on this island, professional soldiers from top to bottom. Now, imagine us teaming up with the Rikers and the Cleaners, because that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to be patrolling together, doing joint ops, everything. And I have got to tell you, I don't like it one little bit. back towards that car wash, the one with the fancy new neon sign. I don't think they've seen me, but they've joined up with more soldiers, and some of those criminals, and a couple more cleaners. <laughs> they're all laughing and having a good time, which is good for me, because they're not looking around to see if anyone's behind them. This is a terrible risk I'm taking. I should just go home right now. I should just run before they notice me. I should... Going down. Go get him! It's gonna take a second. Ah! 
Well, the man with the flamethrower isn't alone. They call him and his kind cleaners. How do I know? Because soldiers came marching down my block and announced that the neighborhood, my neighborhood, was under the protection of the last man battalion, and that if we knew what was good for us, we'd behave. Someone asked a few questions, and that's how we found out about the cleaners, and about those nasty Rikers, too. The island's more dangerous than I thought. I don't trust anyone. Out here, you can't trust anyone. They call us rogue for a reason. We're all just out here trying to survive. And as soon as you start building something bigger than yourself, someone's gonna want to come along and knock it down. So I do what I do, which makes me useful to everyone out here. Hopefully that gives them a reason to keep me around rather than puts a bullseye on my back. But don't waste time getting indignant. Instead, let's talk facts. You are not going to catch me. Not even close. Let's put that another way. If you had even the faintest shot at getting a hold of me, do you think I'd be taking the time to send you a message? Most of us are smarter than that. But at least I've got your attention, and that's all I want. For now. others out here. They say they've called a truce. Maybe even made an alliance because all of us have gotten screwed one way or another by that piece of shit Aaron Keener. And they say Keener has been spotted on the West Side Piers. And that's why all of us are moving in to hunt that little bastard down. Hey there, Grandma. I keep on thinking about that guy who chased me. How someone came along and stole all the stuff I was carrying. I don't think I'm gonna let that happen again. I started carrying a knife. One of Mom's good ones from the kitchen. The next time someone chases me, they're gonna get a surprise. Because I can't just run and leave everything. I'm not when food's so hard to find. Not anymore.
Hey, Grandma. I'm guessing you're probably gone, too. But I'm gonna keep calling as long as I can. It just feels like I should, somehow. I think you'd be proud of me. And, and so would Mom. I'm a survivor, and I'm gonna keep on surviving. There's talk of a refugee camp open near the garden. And maybe I'll go there. Or maybe I'll stay here and keep making the best of it. Whatever happens, though, it'll be my choice. And no one's gonna force me out. No one's gonna take what's mine. No one. Goodbye, Grandma. I love you.